word of prayer mandatory? What about when we are traveling? Do we pray winter? The majority of the Muslim jurists, the Shafi'i, the Maliki, the Hanbali, uh, agreed that Salat al-Witr is a highly recommended sunnah and the Muslim should care for doing it to the extent that Imam Ahmad rahimahullah said in regard to the person who regularly miss his witr, he said that not a good person, Rajul Usu'. And even some of the fuqaha consider that person's testimonial will be rejected because he's not a trustworthy person. While the Hanafi uh, said that it is wajib uh, and, and must, uh, but uh, the Jumhur opinion is, is the correct and strongest opinion, in my opinion, uh, because in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as Talha ibn Ubaidillah reported, uh, a man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and asking him about Shara'ir al-Islam, the rules of Islam. Then uh, he said, Ya Rasulullah, your messenger to us claim that Allah have prescribed upon us five prayers that they are mandatory upon us every day uh, and night. So the Prophet ﷺ said, yes, and everything else is a volunteer. And the Prophet ﷺ approved that. So here the Prophet ﷺ said that five prayers are mandatory and everything else is a mandatory. Uh, that include witr and include the Sunnah al-Fajr. And no doubt, the Salat al-Witr is a highly recommended Sunnah that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam wouldn't leave it even while he is traveling Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam. And in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam order and encourage people said, أَوْتِرُوا قَبْلَ أَن تُصْبِحُوا In Sayyid Muslim he said, pray witr before you wake up for Fajr or before Fajr. And in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ya Ahlul Quran, the people of Quran, أَوْتِرُوا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ وِتْرٌ يُحِبُّ الْوِتْرٌ Ya, the people of Quran pray witr. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is witr and he loves witr. And in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam as reported also that when he travels, he will pray his witr Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam while he's traveling, while he is sitting on his camel Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam. And that shows you also it's not an obligatory prayer. Otherwise, would the Prophet Sallam would have stopped and prayed like any obligatory prayer. In any way, the Muslim should care for it. And uh, do you pray in the beginning of the night and the end of the night? It's optional. If you can and guarantee that you'll wake up before Fajr, that'd be better. But if you don't guarantee that, you're not sure about it, it's better to pray in the beginning of the night. And it is in any odd number. Start from one and there is no maximum for it. But in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as Aisha said, he never prayed more than 11 rakahs in Ramadan or outside Ramadan. May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala accept from all of us. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and like the videos so that you can get notified of the new releases and consider donating to this worthy cause.